What's up everyone, Fred Nielsen here, and this video is going to be another room tour for you guys. Eight months ago I made one, and I'm about to make a new one now. So, for you to see what the differences have been in, or well, well, since the last room tour eight months ago. A few people have been requesting this, and I'm also going to be answering a few questions about, uh, well, some that I got last time. So, uh, Sorry for not making a few videos or some videos for the past two months because I was on holiday. I was on the whole other side of the world, Hawaii to be precise, and I was also in Michigan and Chicago. So I've been all over the place in the U.S. I've also been to uh, L.A. for a few days. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but now I'm back to making videos. I don't have that many ideas. I'm probably going to get some, but if you have any video requests, feel free to write them in the comment section below. Sorry, that was just taken from Ray William Johnson. Just couldn't stop that. Anyway, this is my desk with my Intel Core 2 Duo 27-inch Apple iMac. I'm really happy with it. I had this the last time as well. For you asking, this is the Helios screensaver. Uh, I'll probably put a link in the description, and if not, you can probably just search on Google. I have the numeric keypad here with Danish letters. As you can see, these letters are not in the English alphabet, and nor in the French or anything else. They're only in the Danish and Norwegian alphabet. So the numeric keypad, that way I don't need to pay, uh, pay for new batteries all the time, and they're just connected to my computer without using any batteries. Here I have my magic mouse, and this has a call something that supports my my hand. I find it very useful because the magic mouse is quite little, so this helps quite a lot. Uh, I bought this in a random, you know, back to school and uh, school stuff at bookstore close to my house, and you probably find it in places such as Walmart or Target. Just try to look around, you'll probably find something similar. Probably not the exact same thing, but something similar at least. You have some pens. A lamp. You have the Apple remote that I use for when I'm in bed and I watch movies. Then I just tilt the iMac to the left and I can watch it right from my bed, which is pretty nice. So I'll put this back to my normal working view or whatever you can call it. Next, I have my mom's iPod video, just put some music on there. And here we have my, or actually my sister's iPod touch, since mine went in the washer and does not work anymore. So this is mine. It's not working anymore. Too bad because it was a really nice iPod. Not very scratched. Just got scratched and it had no scratches at all because I put it on protection the exact same second I got it. So now I got some scratches, which is really too bad. But I'm buying a new one in September, or if it comes comes out in September, I'm waiting for a new one to arrive in stores. They're announcing it the September 1st. So I'm going to buy that one when it comes out. I have some money set aside for that. Um, which, uh, which you know is great. It's, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So this is my desk. I got the desk. Some people asked about that from my, uh, as well. And I got this from Ikea. I don't remember the name. But the drawer next to it has the same name as the desk. So they're kind of a pair. So if you found the drawer, you have the same the name for the desk as well. And it works the other way around as well. Here we have my iPod Nano. Only 4 gigs. Not very good. Don't have uh, that much music on there. There's not actually not enough space here. I have some CDs. I usually buy CDs because I can get them cheaper than on iTunes, thanks to the UK Amazon store. I have some AC/DC, Beatles, Green Day, Coldplay, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, and some others. Van Halen. Uh, I have a much bigger music collection on my uh, computer, but I don't have it all on CDs. Up here we have some guitar picks. Yes, I play guitar. We'll be getting that very soon. To that very soon, seventy-two Gibson guitar picks. Or this is my uh, this is my phone. Uh, it has a keyboard. It's an LG. It's a decent phone. It's not a smartphone or anything, but it works. So, and it's pretty deep, pretty quick to typing messages with. Here I have a printer. I got a printer now, and this is my backup drive for Time Machine. So over here we have some vinyl records of Led Zeppelin 4. I have two. I used to have a record player, but it got stolen. That was like years ago. But now I just have these. I'm a big Led Zeppelin fan. They're my favorite band. And that's why I have these as well to just you know look at and stuff like that. So this is a ukulele from Hawaii where I was. 
Um, it's it's decent. Goes out tune very quickly. It's it's an it's an alright ukulele. I mean, it's I, I it's not playing. It's not worth playing or something. But it's fun to play. It's not you know good to play. Here we have my laptops. If you want a bigger view of that, you can watch the previous video. This is my Toshiba and this is my HP. Most videos were done on the HP. And uh, I take them out whenever I need to transfer files or something like that. This is my bed all done. I rarely see it like this. Or here we have a chair, I guess you could call it. And some Wall Street journals I bought in the US and I haven't read yet, so they're still there. <coughs> Over here we have my two guitars, my one my, some of my prized most prized possessions, maybe even more, you know, that are not as expensive as the iMac. Though if I had to choose just one, I think I'd have to say this guitar, uh, which is you know weird for me to say. Anyway, this is a Fender or Squ Squire Stratocaster by Fender. It's not as good as the real Fender Stratocaster, but it plays nicely through an amp, though the build quality makes it sound pretty bad just by playing the hand. I've been playing guitar for quite a few quite some months now, ever since April or May or something. I'm getting pretty good I'd say. I'm not professional or anything or I'm not that good or I know quite a few people are better a lot better than me, but you know I think I'm doing alright. Then I have my favorite guitar over here. Cost this is was a gift from my father by the way. And this is one I bought on my own. I sold a lot of Pokemon cards for this. It's an Epiphone Les Paul by Gibson, 2009 standard plus top model. Has uh, two humbucker pickups, very nice inlays, as all Les Pauls do. Uh, two pieces, volume, tone knobs, Head, headstock up there, as all guitars do. Or most guitars have headstocks. <laughs> and. Uh, well, it's it's a very nice guitar. I love it. It, uh, it has a sweet tone uh, with my amp. My amp is really bad, though. It does have some very nice. It has a very nice tone. I'll be getting more to the guitars later. Up here on my shelves, we have this that I use for my iPod Touch reviews. Just put my iPod in here, and this X thing holds it. Bought it at the uh, local Apple store. Uh, Twilight books. Yes, I like Twilight. I like the books. I hate the movies. The movies are some of the worst stuff out there. Um, I was so disappointed. I wouldn't recommend them to anyone. If you like them, no problem, but they, they're just nothing compared to the books, or they're just nothing in general. But the books, I think, are great. Here I have some other books. Don't really read that many of these books here. I read this, uh, the Bartimaeus trilogy, and I read the Lance Armstrong biography, or read. I've read it. Over here we have Catcher in the Rye, some more Bartimaeus, Tunnels, Aragon, Harry Potter. Even more Harry Potter, uh, Del Toro's Belt, Pokemon Binders, a lot more in these drawers as well, and I sold quite a few. I sold some really bad cards, just tons of bad cards for 250 euros, which is going to let me buy my the next iPod Touch I have, or I'm going to get after, yeah, the one I told you about. However, here we have two guitar cases. This one is for my Les Paul. This one is, there's a guitar inside, it's my stepfather's guitar he's letting me play once in a while one of the strings are broken so I don't play it anymore uh, over here we have my guitar binder with all my songs from guitar lessons my strap uh, an extra connector from the the amp to my guitar and I have one in the amp this is the amp by the way and over here we have my uh, uh, cool. this is a tuner for guitars and this is a metronome the strap I use for my Les Paul, and this is the app seen from further away. And this is the guitar stand, I'll show you how that works in a second, because it's a quite questionable design. Over here we have some CDs, quite a lot of these are horrible, though they, some of these are really good as well. Such as Hot Fuss by The Killers, one of my favorite albums. Uh, Echoes, The Best of Pink Floyd, and Raising Sand by Robert Plant. I was in the crowd, so I obviously like Robert Plant since he was the singer of Led Zeppelin. Just really sorry for boring you with all this music stuff, but uh, I'm just very into that. Uh, so a lot of these CDs, many of these CDs are bad. If you see some bad CDs here, I know they're bad. Um, but some of them extended my, uh, they're, as I said, my father just let me borrow them and let me pick out the good ones. Um, over here we have a trophy that is behind my iMac. 
Over here we have a trophy from 2007 as the Belgian champion in Pokemon cards. Over here we have a world's, how do you know, how do you call it, ID or something, which is national champion from 2009. So I've won twice, 2009-2007. I hear I have a medal, a city championship medal, some battle rows, some tourneys, some winner cards that only the winners get. Uh, they're get, I need to fold them a bit or something. Here I have some more trophies, national champion 2009, third place France, third place Belgium a few years ago, and some regional champion trophies, and a second place regional trophy here in front. I have quite a bit of everything here. So this, I guess, was my room tour. There's not much more to it. I'm probably going to make one in another eight months or so if my room changes a bit. Also, I have a poster right here. By the way, my favorite guitarist is Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin, which is one of the reasons why I bought this poster. I like Kurt Cobain of Nirvana as well. Um, these are also some very nice guitars, which is, well, always nice to look at for me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. More videos coming up. If you have any requests, as I said, write, please write it in the comments. Um, I'll probably get some new ideas soon, but right now I don't have any. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please comment, like this video, favorite it, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos if you are interested. And the other route were from eight months ago, and maybe even you can switch back to this one afterwards to see the difference again if you didn't really notice the first time. Alright, so see you later guys, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.